Hey everybody, this is Alan Fine, and I'm here with Bradley Calder, General Manager of Liku Liku Lagoon Resort in Fiji. But I'm also here with Samantha Muspratt, the Director of Sales and Marketing for Ahura Resorts, which is actually uh, the company that is responsible for all this uh, beauty. And so we're going to go over what they have to offer here in Fiji, and this is Insider Travel Report. Thank you for both being here. So, so basically, we're at the uh, uh, Liku Liku uh, Resort, but let's talk about the history and the ownership of it. Who wants to go on that one? Uh, Liku Liku Lagoon is uh, family owned uh, by the Witten family, a Fijian family uh, here in Fiji. And uh, because of that, um, you know, everything we do is with heart. Uh, the way we look after our staff, the way we look after our guests, the way we look after our environment and, uh, and our local village also. Yeah. We're on what island? Uh, we're here on Malalo Island, just just 16 kilometers away from Nandi. No, 16 miles. Oh, 16 miles, yeah, because we're in U.S., aren't we? So they, they, they get along. Now, <laughs> but but what but the significance of the island name is, is by coincidence, there's another facility right next door that's part of this, which, which is Malalo Island Resort, which is our family resort. Right. Yeah. So between the two, everybody's covered. Yes, yes. I mean, it's uh, it's a flawed business model at times because they come here on honeymoon and they can't come back until their uh, kids are grown up. And so hence, consequently, they come across to Malalo with their family. How easy is it to get here? It's very easy. Um, Fiji Airways has an amazing network. And uh, for a small country and a small airline, it really punches very far above its weight. So daily flights out of the USA, uh, Los Angeles is the main port, um, three times a week out of uh, San Francisco and twice a week out of uh, Vancouver direct, 10 hours. It's an overnight flight, so you basically board at night and you wake up in paradise. And boy, is it. Let's talk about uh, the facilities. First of all, when you come, the, the, you're welcomed. Uh, every welcoming, uh, every welcome with a guest is a big Fijian welcome. Uh, there's singing, there's dancing, there's clapping, and of course the obligatory bulla. So how long is it from the airport until we get to the, sh the craft that brings us here? So it really depends on which mode of transport. So the quickest way is what I call the rock star arrival on a helicopter, just 10 minutes straight from the airport to our own helipad. And then you have your C options of either a private water taxi and they run 24 seven. So you can come out any time of the day or night, it takes about 45 minutes. And then we have the scheduled ferry service running out three times a day. So depending on which one you're on, you could be an hour on the direct service or two hours doing the, the island hop on the way, which is actually a really nice way to get orientated around this particular island group that we're a part of, which is called the Mamanuthas. Let's talk about uh, the decor and the public spaces, because that's the first thing. You, you, you arrive, you walk up the pier, and then you just go... <sighs> So being Fijian family owned, when our Fijian owners, I guess, conceived of, of, of a Liku Liku Lagoon Resort, they really wanted it to reflect their culture and their heritage more so than, than their other resorts. So it's been built and designed um, with very authentic uh, materials, architecture. Uh, you know, a lot of these materials have come from within Fiji. Um, but we say underneath all this tradition are all the nice luxury touches that you would expect in a resort like this. And, and the decor filters down to the rooms, and the rooms are really amazing. Let's talk about, you have two types? Three, or more? Actually. Three types. So we're most famously known and iconically known for having Fiji's first and only truly authentic overwater bungalows. Look behind us. There they are behind us. So along the beachfront, we've got two other categories, uh, some with private plunge pools and some without. And the interiors of all the rooms are also really reflective of traditional designs and architecture. So you're looking at a lot of um, hand artisan work uh, within the rooms. Um, there's a, a design called Mungi Mungi, which is made out of coconut husk, which basically is a binding agent um, to keep uh, beams, and uh, roof beams and rafters in place. And uh, so that has all been hand done throughout all the rooms. Um, there's individual hand carved wooden pelmets around uh, the top of the windows around the entire room and not one single um, panel is the same. And I was just fascinated with the ceilings. I mean, from the moment you come in, the main, uh, the, the where you check in, but then in my own room, looking up, I have of shots of, of the wood and how it all comes together. 
Yes, and that's all beautiful Fijian Vesi hardwood. Um, and the, the thatching, so in the interior of the rooms, it's called songa, which is a traditional banana leaf uh, style of interwoven thatching. It's also uh, an ancient form of, of waterproofing and insulation uh, that the Fijians would put in their bures when they were building this architecture. And then on the exterior is, is a, a thatching as well, which we used to use uh, the natural thatching, but now it's all um, environmentally friendly uh, synthetic thatching as well. So it means uh, we're not uh, we're not knocking down trees anymore to to put a roof on our on our rooms. And let's talk about the F and B uh, and and what you serve here. Yes, uh, our food and beverage our culinary offering is headed up by Executive Chef Gregory Llewellyn. Uh, he was resident formerly of the US and uh, made his home in Australia and he oversees both properties Malalo and Luku Luku. Um, food cuisine wise we have a very extensive breakfast menu, uh, daily offering of a three course lunch menu, three four course dinner menu and uh, we are, in addition to that for those who just want something light and nice by the pool we offer a, a pizza, wood fire pizza and salad menu. And let's also talk about the, where we are right now. We're at Masa, of course, we're at Masima Bar. Masima Bar is, is where you'll come and arrive to the resort at Lika Lika Lagoon. It's also where the best sunsets are, uh, are viewed. So evening activities, for example, would be a, a demonstration. Yes, we have everything from kava ceremonies, which is the traditional uh, pepper root uh, uh, beverage of, of most of the South Pacific, actually, but especially Fiji. Uh, Kokonda, which is actually a very traditional Fijian seafood dish. So we do uh, cooking demonstrations, showing our guests how to, to make this very simple, easy, easy dish. Um, Friday nights is where it really all comes together. We have our Fijian evening out here. So guests get to meet all our management team through a hosted uh, cocktail party. Then our staff do a traditional Fijian song and dance uh, entertainment. And there's a bit of audience participation at the end, of course. And meanwhile, all afternoon, the traditional Fijian earth oven cooking has been happening. And the guests get to enjoy, um, you know, whatever might be in the ground that day. It could be some uh, local meats and, and uh, a lot of traditional Fijian root vegetables. And that's combined with a fantastic South Pacific barbecue where we we have a whole spread of fresh meats and seafoods that the chefs uh, cook to order on the on our barbecues that we have up there. And uh, let's talk about spa and gym facilities. We certainly do. We have a most beautiful spa overlooking the uh, l lovely lagoon of Luku Luku. Uh, the spa uses pure Fiji spa products which are all sourced locally and uh, the gym itself uh, has an amazing view of the lagoon. You couldn't ask for a better view or for your workout. Let's talk about amenities. For example, um, snorkeling, sunset cruise, fishing, island hopping. Uh, uh, it, it, there's so much to do. Who wants to take that one? Yeah, that one. Yeah, certainly. I mean, yes, there's so much to do. I mean, that's not just limited to the water. There's diving. There's snorkeling. Uh, we have amazing blue light snorkel, which is the night snorkeling. In the night snorkeling, using uh, a blue light torches, so you can see the bioluminescent uh, chemicals and the corals. We have amazing nature trails around, so you're you're not just restricted to the waters. Amazing land activities, and then we, of course, we have our cultural offering uh, as well. I just want to say that uh, we went on the snorkel trip and it, it was also island hopping so we were able to see where uh, Survivor was being shot and so you'll see actual shots of, of the sets being constructed and also where Castaway was filmed and uh, where where Wilson was and Tom Hanks. So we'll show them all that. Did you find Wilson? Uh, no, no. <laughs> Wilson was deflated. Uh, he, he was depressed and not there. But um, so so that that was quite... And, and then the snorkeling, of course... We're in, we're in Fiji. You can't do better. Um, but let's then talk about uh, the fact that uh, part of the uh, amenities is the, the help that you do to uh, give back and sustain. So you do reef work and you do iguana work. Let's talk about that, please. We have our own uh, charity, actually, in fact, called the Uhura Foundation. And uh, many of our guests donate to this charity and in conjunction with what we do in the whole resort itself. But uh, we have a, a coral restoration program. Um, Fiji has, itself has some of the most amazing corals. I'm a 
active diver and I, I love to see the size and the colors and and the just the vibrancy of the corals that are in Fiji um, we also have a, a, a reforestation program uh, where we're reforesting all the dry forest um, which was formerly on Malalo uh, Liku Liku is very abundant with uh, dry forest now and we want to expand that over the remainder of the island okay so now tell us about the iguanas please okay so the iguanas uh, about 13 years ago an iguana dropped out of the tree uh, it was an iguana that was actually thought of uh, to be extinct um, and at the time they had uh, some people visiting from San Diego Zoo a nearby resort and they and they sent the iguana over for you know identification and they ended up taking the iguana back to to San Diego and going through the process and they found that this was an in fact a free Fijian crested iguana and then following that we found out we had a small population and and on the back of that we started to do a, a breeding program and and now it's very very extensive we released more than 70 iguanas back into the wild uh, we nurture them up to juvenile stage we release them to the wild and then we go in and obviously look for them and uh, you know see that they're still surviving in a healthy environment in the dry forest and the good news is is that that many of them are actually making babies on their own now um, yes. in the initial environment. So you're finding them outside the cages? Yes, certainly. Yeah, yeah. yes. Right, right. Yeah. Uh, so now, this is a beautiful spot. Uh, meetings, honeymoons, uh, weddings? Oh, yes, absolutely. I mean, being a couple's resort, obviously it's a bit of a wedding mecca. You know, proposals, elopements, uh, definitely lots of honeymoons. So, and But the nice thing about Luku Liku is, and this is why we're, we kind of sit in a really unique space as far as guests are concerned, because we have everything from the young honeymooners right through to people celebrating 50th wedding anniversaries and the like, and everything else in between. And it does really draw in that diversity and that variety of, of guests um, because of you know what we are and when we are meetings not so much we're more I guess um, you'd look at us from an incentive option um, you know island buyouts um, you know small incentive groups um, you know we've had people book out all the overwaters for example for their you know as a little incentive stay so that that tends to be more the the type of, uh, of uh, meetings or incentive style of business that we get let's talk about what makes this resort different than I mean, this this area keeps getting new ones. Well, it's one of the originals, for example. Uh, and what else? I think the main uh, attraction for Liku Liku is that it's a truly authentic Fijian experience. And we really like to push the fact that, you know, being Fijian family owned actually does have a tangible impact on the guest experience. The staff are proud that they're working for a local Fijian family. Nearly 30% of our staff are actually from Malolo Island itself too. So this is actually really their true home their true land and we're just here taking care of it and then we've got nearly a third of our staff who have been here from the very beginning as well so you've got great legacy you've got great knowledge and history and pride in 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 being in a place that originally blazed a very big trail for Fiji in terms of bringing in the overwaters so you know and of course you have you're in a already themed very traditional authentic Fijian village but having a, a nice luxury experience underneath that as I mentioned so that's that's, that's one of the big attractions. We're also, you know, we, we call ourselves wilderness luxury. We're in a very... Uh, so what exactly is wilderness luxury? Well, I guess it's an understated luxury. You know, here we are sitting amongst lush, indigenous forests, you know, landscaping, and, you know, there's no pretensions here. Um, although, yes, it's a luxury resort, but it has a, a real familial feel for all the reasons I just explained about having that Fijian family ownership, a lot of um, a legacy here with our staff, um, true ownership from having real Malolo Islanders um, looking after you, and uh, there's no airs or graces here. It's genuine, warm, traditional Fiji and hospitality. And let's stick with sales now because we're talking to going out to 126,000 travel advisors. Um, who's the guest? Who should they be looking for in their in their uh, contact lists? You're looking for somebody who really wants to have a truly authentic Fijian experience for a start in in and ticking all those boxes really starting from the fact we are Fijian family owned as I said. Um, and someone who's really after a connection with the people and the land that they're on. So through all the combination of all our activities, you're really going to get an up close and personal experience of, 
of how Fijians live, um, you know, what's in their environment, um, how they work and live in the environment, and then of course the beauty that's a part of that, and including all the conservation efforts. The client that wants to give back. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and and Fiji has always ticked a lot of those boxes about um, you know connecting people with land and experiences. So, um, but at the same time too, they're going to have all of that as well as an amazing culinary experience. Um, they're going to have relaxation. Uh, you know, so you're looking for somebody who's who wants you know the adults only factor of you know having true romance um, in an intimate setting. Only maximum of 90 people, and uh, and also people who want to celebrate something too. It has a, a great celebratory following here. So there's always lots of special occasions, birthdays, anniversaries. Uh, so that really gets acknowledged in a beautiful way when you come here. How do they contact you guys? The easiest way is www.likulikulagoon.com. However, we've now got a uh, Likuliku uh, resort app that's available on, on Google and Apple Play stores. You can download it and have all the resort information at your fingertips. So your guests can also check in online. They can make pre-reservations for many activities, spa, etc., dinner reservations, and it'll pop up in a nice little itinerary for them so they'll know what they're doing each day. I want to thank you both for talking to us. I'm going to pop into my overwater bungalow over there. Uh, but anyway, as you can see behind us, this is not a Zoom meeting. We're here in Fiji. I want to thank you both and, uh, thank, and, and good luck. Thank you. thank you. Thank you for talking to us. And this is Alan Fine for Insider Travel Report.